All right, so what's going on, Yelani? This one is 316 part A. Um, we gotta determine the local uh, X displacements um, using the global displacement values they give us, right? U1, U2, V1, and V2. And they also give us the properties of the material, but we're not gonna need them, E, A, and L, because we're just transforming from global to local. I don't know why they give them, but kind of makes sense, right? If you're gonna go from global to local, you have distances, U1, U2, V1, V2, and you just want the U1 prime, U2 prime, in this case, right? Uh, so it's from inches to inches. There's no reason why you should use a stiffness matrix right now, but just FYI. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first off, let's start off by uh, what's given, right? So they give us U1, V1, U2, and V2. And let's go ahead and express that as a vector. I mean, it doesn't really matter, right, if you express it as a vector here, but we're just gonna use this vector to get the, the local, um, what do you call it, local X displacements. So that value is 0 0.5, 0, so let's put 0 0.50. Okay, let's do 0, 0 0.25 for U2 and 0 0.75 for v2 so again this is the global um, displacement vector meaning that's the x and y coordinates of each node um, at the global i don't even know how you call it the global scale i don't know right but point is we just want to convert them to local displacement um to a local displacement displacement vector so we could um kind of just like how i mentioned when we started the problem um it's a, we really don't need E, A, or L because we're going from displacement, right? Global displacement to local displacement, meaning, uh, and to do that, uh, but I'm, it's meaning uh, that we're not gonna use any other unit, right? We're going from distance to distance. So I don't know why they gave us these numbers, but the point is we just use a transformation matrix to, to get there. So check this, so it's gonna be U1 prime, right? What we're looking for, V1 prime, u2 prime and v2 prime so that's what we're looking for and we're going to use a transformation matrix to get there that transformation matrix is cosine theta negative sine theta zero zero it is sine theta cosine theta zero zero and over here it's going to be cosine theta and negative sine theta uh, sine theta and cosine theta so that's really all it is uh, this matrix here is dimensionless it's just a transformation matrix to go from global to local and the displacement vector it's this one right here so it's 0 0.50, 0, 0 0.25, and 0 0.75. That's really all it is. You know, we just uh, continue solving this problem like we would normally. Um, I don't know why they made us do 316 after 315, because I'm pretty sure, I can't remember correctly, but I'm pretty sure that you need to know how to do this before you do 315. But I guess it's not really a big deal, right? Um, so we'll go to step two. We could go ahead and start assembling the equations. Um, so u1 prime is equal to, it's gonna be cosine theta times 0 0.5. So that's gonna be 0 0.5 cosine of theta, which is the angle uh, with respect to the positive x-axis. In this case, it's 45. So 45 degrees and plus sine times zero plus zero times this number plus zero times this number so cool that's that's the the only term for that equation uh v1 prime is negative sine theta times 0 0.5 so it's negative 0 0.5 sine 45 right um plus cosine of theta times zero which is zero 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 so again it's only one term for that one too. U2 prime, that's gonna be a little bit more complicated. We're gonna have cosine theta times 0 0.25. I'm assuming you know how to multiply a matrix to a vector. Um, 
So cosine theta times 0 0.25, so 0 0.25. Uh, cosine of 45 degrees. Um, and then it's plus 0 0.75. Now the next one, right? 0 0.75 times sine theta, which is sine 45 degrees. Um, mm -hmm. We'll go to V2. And it's pretty much the same thing. Now it's negative 0 0.25 sine 45 degrees plus yes plus 0 0.75 cosine 45 degrees and it's only asking for the local x displacements so that means we only care about u1 prime and u2 prime but we're also getting v1 prime and v2 prime in this case just so you could see how you get all four um, and it's pretty straightforward and um, we're pretty much done with the problem just do the math and you'll get u1 prime 0 0.5 times cosine 45 that should give you 0 0.3536 that is in inches um, v1 prime is equal to negative 0 0.3536 inches um, it is in inches right so this is yeah they're giving in inches right here so this is in inches uh, U2 prime is equal to zero, let me move it up in case you can't see, 0 0.7071 inches. And finally, V2 prime is 0 0.3536 inches. So yeah, that's uh, the answer right here. Well, you only care about U1 and U2 in this case, prime, right? You only care about this one and this one that's what the question is asking for but that's pretty much it um you really just use a transformation matrix so this is in inches this is in inches this is unitless right here so it's just a matrix to transform from global to local and you'll see how we use them in future problems but that's pretty much it on this problem so that's the top and that's the bottom